Technical debt enthusiasts are themselves in technical debt when it comes to the definition of technical debt. It is time to put a finer edge on the definition of technical debt. Introduced by Ward Cunningham in 1992, the current definition of technical debt needs to be brought up to date. The early, archaic, and somewhat awkward definition is not quite right code, which we postpone making it right. Instead, I suggest the following. Technical debt is the organizational project or engineering neglect of known good practice that can result in persistent public, user, customer, staff, reputation, or financial cost. The current scope of technical debt as a metaphor for the consequences of neglect in the practice of software engineering and management is somewhat old style and certainly programmer centric. The scope of technical debt from the viewpoint of the programmer is one of software components, code and test activities, and static analysis. However, the neglect for which the project and enterprise will pay consequences in terms of interest on the debt includes systems and software engineering and management systems and systems of systems, iterative life cycle model dynamics, and dynamic analysis and finite word effects. So clearly, the scope of technical debt must be elevated. Technical debt is an interesting metaphor. Its utility lies in its simplicity and ease with which complex software planning and technical issues can be framed for executives and managers who lack the technical background to engage these issues firsthand. With this shorthand method of framing complex problems comes the loss of underlying detail that can restrict or misdirect the identification, analysis, and resolution of software planning and technical issues among those who do possess the technical background to engage these issues firsthand. For starters, technical debt involves more than the technical and engineering dimension. It also involves software engineering process and management. The success of large-scale software intensive systems is largely dependent on the engineering management and process capabilities, people, practices, methods, and tools of the enterprise, charged with the requirements determination, design, development, testing, fielding and sustainment of systems and systems of systems. Within any organization, these elements of success are in various stages of maturity, and their evolution and alignment may become the source of strategic software management and continuous process improvement. At any point in time, these gaps can be referred to as technical debt when they result in persistent reputation, economic, mission, or competitiveness costs and risks. When these gaps are neglected, whether undiscovered or consciously ignored, technical debt may be incurred. Technical debt, then, is the organizational project or engineering neglect of known good practice that can result in persistent public user customer, staff, reputation, or financial cost. Shortcuts, expedient activities, and poor practice contributing to the initial product launch or initial operational capability are often cited as justifiable excuses in taking on technical debt. But in truth, most technical debt is taken on without this strategic intent, without even knowing it and without the wherewithal in capability or capacity to do the job right. In any event, as the twig is bent, so grows the tree, and the weight of accumulated technical debt immediately and continuously extracts its cost on the organization. Technical debt is considered written off only when it is eliminated. Draining the swamp depends on understanding and aligning the sources of technical debt in management, engineering, and process. Sources of technical debt in engineering involve neglect in application domain understanding, requirements determination, system and software architecture, iterative multi-level design, staged incremental development, software development lifecycle, programming language, middleware, operating system, 
network interface, and software development environment. Sources of technical debt in management involve neglect and requirements management, estimating, planning, measurement, monitoring and controlling, risk management, process management, team innovation management, supply chain management, team building, personnel management, and customer relationship management. Sources of technical debt in process involve insufficient evidence of explicit goals and readiness to perform, insufficient accountability based on work responsibility matrix, insufficient planning of design levels and staged increments, and insufficient planning, management, and control of software product releases. Here's my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.